Hey everybody, uh, I'm here. My name is Adam Shaffron, I believe. And I heard about this place called Flying Fox Fruits and the guy's supposed to have all these jabbity cabas. They're also called planillas, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, supposedly this tree right here is an ESALQ that's grafted. They told me it was grafted twice. I don't really believe it, even though there are some signs that it may indeed have been propagated at some point and there does seem to be like a a y shape here and uh well whatever i don't believe it that was recently planted it looks like it came out of a 15 gallon and it's in a nice little wet area it's about a seven foot tall tree that's the esalq and a very close relative well they're both the same species but this is the novak which you know may may as well be a seedling ESALQ. I don't know. It, it reminds me of the ESALQ a lot, but I will say this. This fruits the fastest out of anything I've seen from grafting. I've seen one fruit in just about a year and a half or so from grafting, and the cutting that was taken was about this big or so. Someone, sometimes you just get lucky, and I saw one fruit really quick. Sometimes they take long. This one hasn't fruited yet, so it was just something I saw where someone got lucky, maybe. But this is one of the ones I've seen fruit the fastest from cutting. Maybe it was luck. Um, I don't know. This one is about three years from grafting and hasn't flowered yet. Isn't that crazy, though? I've seen trees flower. You want to hold on to that? Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm handing the camera over to Chris. Thank you, Chris. Yes, sir. And so I was kind of explaining. Sometimes I've seen trees that have been grafted from a tree that's not fr fruiting and flowering yet. The person who took the graft off of the tree, right? Let's say I took a branch off of this and grafted it. They fruit the tree before this tree. I've seen that happen many times. I've seen it happen taking a cutting off of a tree that's in the ground and then grafting it. Who knows? Maybe you just took better care of it. Maybe Stress. putting it on the rootstock helped it out. Now it's on that rootstock and it's better than being on its own roots. Maybe this was the branch that was about to flower and you cut it off. <laughs> That's what I think is half the time, is that it was the branch that was about to flower and you cut it off. But anyway, so this tree, I'm putting it right here. This is a wet spot. What, I, I what about stress, Adam? You think that has any factor in it? Stressing the... I don't think so. No, I don't. No. That's just me. Maybe I'm wrong though, Chris. Okay. I don't think it does, but maybe it does. I know stress is a factor. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know in this case if it is or not. It, maybe it is. I don't know. It may not apply. It may or may not. But this is root bound. It's root bound. So this has been dying to get out of the pot. I'm gonna plant it just a tad high. So it's got a muffin top, as I like to call it. Let me get this shovel out from underneath. The ground is ever settling too. Yeah, it's gonna get sucked in. I should probably yep. plant it taller than when I'm about to plant it, but that's probably where I'm gonna do it. And I just wanna angle the tree in my specific way. I think this is how it wants to be, right about like, just about like that, I would say. Yeah, and I really just, I've already shown planting these trees, but I just wanted to show this to commemorate the day. And I'm gonna take some of this here and scoop in some of this soil around the base and put a lot of mulch around it. Bunch of mulch. Oh, wow. It's like I'm short on soil today. Cause I took out this big piece here, look at this. Well, it fell apart. Piece of it here. The dirt's gotta be shaking out of that water hose too. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Yeah. Dirt my eyes there. Anyway, I don't know. This is, I guess I should show them the final stages here, I guess. I was going to tell you to cut it off now, but let's just keep going for a second here. And then ask any questions if you like. If you like your questions that I forget to answer. <laughs> I don't know. This one can take some sun, I think, but it may get burned, who knows? I don't think it's gonna get burned. These things are tough as nails. Petrantha seems to be real strong when it comes to the, um, to the sunlight and definitely handles some cold now. I've seen these take down to 25 degrees, mm -hmm. but for anything, but the brief, and that's Florida 25, that ain't California 25. Right. Look at this muffin top, <clears throat> look how tall it is. Is that a humid 25 as well? Definitely a humid 25. Does All that definitely. help or hurt? It helps, oh gosh, the humidity is a critical the lack of humidity is the like the determining factor and why it's so much harsher 
in California, you know, there's the humidity is just not there. Right. And, and, and it slaps them trees like a ton of bricks, man. Them Santa Ana winds. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have to come back in here and hit it with some mulch real hard. See, I'm never prepared. And that would be what people probably want to see. Should we give it to them and walk over there? Absolutely. Hold on. Let's walk over here. Let's, let's walk. do it. I'm going to need, I've got my rake. Hold on. Let me get my, my cap on, my ball cap on. All right, here we go. We're walking over here. I don't remember in any of your previous videos if you've ever been asked or mentioned. Have you ever used overhead watering over the wintering? Yeah, heck yeah, buddy. Okay. That's how we do it over here. That's what keeps me together. That's the glue that keeps this place together is overhead wintering. Look at this Corona rake. I like this thing. Commercial. Corona. Oh, Barn Hills Farm and Nursery. I'm wearing a shirt today, people. Ooh, I guess I gotta walk over here. Actually, you know what? I think I can walk back this way and take it from the ground. Use the wheelbarrow. I got a wheelbarrow right there. This one that's broken. I got one over there on the shed. I think I'm just gonna rake it off of <laughs> the ground right from over here. Okay, be careful for my, my cars over here. Don't want to show the tread on my tires looking a little old. But I think I'm gonna rake some right here from this pathway. The ever giving. The ever giving. This is that good stuff. That's broken down the way I like it. Yeah. Mm. I need a bunch of this. I need this pink full. That's gorgy. It will wash. Gorgy. That's like dirt, man. You can just plant in that stuff. Let's see, I can have my guy back up and dump a pile here again and fill it back up. Yeah, I'll, um, we can coordinate no, it. No problem. No problem. Got some roots there. Get some of them. Those are good. Yeah. All right. This is the critical part. Get it in there. Get it in the bucket. Get it in the bucket. And watch out for that piece of glass or that throwing knife because we've already lost two. One for me, one for Chris. <laughs> that's hilarious. But that's right, man. If you got a throwing knife, throw it somewhere where you can find it because we can't find it. Designator. Designated area. Oh, look, we found one. Look at these worms. See those grubs? Let's see if homeboy eats it. Oh, it's on. Billy got it. Billy's son, Billy. Oh. Oh. Questioning it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Or is it? Oh, yeah. he just yeah. Making sure the, the head was not an issue. I'm going to be real honest right now. Oh, another one. Let's see if they get it. He's on it. Oh, smashing the head. Yep. Total grub sacrifice. I feel bad for the grub. It was just minding its business, and here I go digging holes and throwing it to some chicken. Well, the chickens would have found them eventually. No, that one would have been saved. Okay. It's going to be too heavy for me to carry. Oh, that's heavy. You could probably plant right in that stuff. Look at that. That's like dirt, dude. That is. That's composted, I think, for yeah. two years or a year and a half. Right With back. heavy water, too, though. So this is the Novax Planea Fetranta, which, who knows, it could just be a seedling of the ESALQ. It's a lot like it, but it's an awesome tree. Easy to grow for me. And I think we need one more load. I was going to say, I think a whole nother yeah. bucket, maybe even two. Yeah, I'm going to put more on, but I just wanted to show people kind of what it looked like. Well, we're going to put on another load of that at least. Look at that. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Boom, boom, boom. I got to I gotta punch it in with this, too. I forgot to do this part. This is critical. This is critical. I, didn't, I don't think I did this yet. That do you ever flush and stuff? Huh? Do you ever flush and stuff with water, with water to get the air pockets out at yeah. the same time? Oh, yeah, water in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Yes, definitely. But not all the time, honestly. I just leave it I pack it in really good and just leave it because here's like a swamp, you know? Mm -hmm. But in other pieces of property, I would have done what you're talking about for sure. Yeah. But this is critical. We've been getting good rains every afternoon too. Thank Amazing. you, Lord. Amazing. Now, if I was lazy, Chris, I could leave it just like this. Yeah. I could. But I know the chickens would come and knock it off. You know, knock off my beautiful mound and make that muffin top exposed. But we've come this far and done so much work. I know. I'm going to definitely add some more soil to this or uh mulch that is well thank you for filming chris absolutely all right guys take care now bye bye then. Boop, 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 boop.